Hello everyone, this is your teacher, Mr. Tanner. Welcome to our first video notes of the year. We're gonna be continuing looking at how the world is organized rather than looking at continents and countries and cities and so forth. Today we're gonna to be looking at latitude and longitude and how to plot a coordinate. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that we need to look at when we're doing lines of latitude and longitude are the very center lines that exactly separate the Earth in half. And we call those hemispheres. So on this page we're looking at hemispheres. And a hemisphere is one half of a sphere. And this sounds weird considering it's halves, but the Earth can be divided into four separate hemispheres. So let's take a look. So we have a northern hemisphere. So if we were to draw a line horizontally across this earth, like I'm doing over on the right, and we labeled this north and south, you can see that we can split the earth into northern hemispheres and a southern hemisphere. And this line that divides that is called the equator. So the northern hemisphere is north of the equator and the south hemisphere, the southern hemisphere, is south of the equator. South of the equator. So that's the first two ways that we can separate the earth in half with that equator separating the north from the south. I'm going to erase the equator really quick. Just a second here. So rather than separating the Earth into North and South hemispheres, we can also separate the Earth into East and West hemispheres. So if I drew a vertical line down the center of the Earth, we would have East on the right, West on the left, and this line that separates East from West is called the prime meridian. So the eastern hemisphere is east of the prime meridian. And the western hemisphere is west of the prime Meridian. So just in summary, there's our four hemispheres. We can have the northern and southern hemisphere, which is separated by the equator, which I'm drawing in again. And we can have the east and west hemispheres, which is separated by the prime meridian. So on your notes, make sure you're drawing this little circle with north, south, east, and west labeled. And you're going to want to make sure you have the equator as well as the prime meridian. So north, south, east, and west and as well as the prime meridian and the equator. So next we're going to actually focus on our lines of latitude. And make sure you're listening as well. It's a little bit hard to read my handwriting sometimes. But lines of latitude are imaginary lines. So these aren't actually drawn on the earth. These are imaginary lines that run east to west around the Earth. So we're going to draw this picture so you can see this beyond just representation as words, but these are imaginary lines that run, it's an important word, run east to west around the Earth. However, lines of latitude measure north or south of the equator. So even though they run east to west, in terms of actually making measurements, they measure north and south of the equator. The equator, it's hard to read, the equator is the line of latitude
at zero degrees north. So it's nowhere, it's not north, it's not south, it's exactly in the middle of the Earth. And we'll add one more here. Lines of latitude. Lines of latitude are also called parallels. So lines of latitude are also called parallels. So let's actually look at a drawing of what these lines of latitude look like. Well, we'll start by drawing the equator. This is our line that exactly separates it in half. We'll label it. But there's other lines north and south of the equator. So I'm just going to draw three. Or we'll separate it twice. So one line here, one here. One here, and you could draw as many of these lines. We can keep dividing them by smaller and smaller portions. But if this is, if the equator is zero degrees north, the north pole is 90 degrees north. And the reason why this is, if we were actually drawing an angle between the north pole, the equator, and then the edge of the earth on that equator, it would make a 90 degree angle. So this is just measuring angles between the equator, the edge of the Earth, and how far up we are going. So the North Pole is 90 degrees north. Get rid of this drawing really quick. The South Pole would be 90 degrees south. So at this point down here, we would have 90 degrees south. And if we were going to set, let's just add in some things. Let's say this is 20 degrees north, 40 degrees north, 80 degrees. I'm just, I know this isn't accurately drawn. I'm just representing that as we go further north of the equator, the numbers get larger moving towards 90. And as we go south of the equator, the numbers get larger again, but we're labeling them south now. So we might have 20 degrees south. 40 degrees south, 80 degrees south. Oops. So again, these lines of latitude, they run east to west. As you're drawing them, the lines run east to west across the globe, but they're measuring how far above north or below south the equator we are. So as we go further north, they're getting larger lines of latitude numbers measuring north. As we go south, they're getting larger measuring south. So again, that is our lines of latitude. Next up here is our lines of longitude. Once again, we'll start with definitions and then we'll add the drawing in just a second. So lines of latitude, our lines of longitude are imaginary lines. Again, these are still imaginary running, so these run north to south from the North Pole to the South Pole. So these don't go all the way around the Earth. They just go from the North Pole to the South Pole. And every single line does, and you'll see that when we make our drawing. So these are imaginary lines, again, running north to south from the North Pole to the South Pole. To the, I forgot the word, South Pole. These lines measure east and west of the prime meridian. So just like latitude where they ran east-west but measured north-south, these are do the same thing. These run north-south but measure east-west of the prime meridian. The line at zero degrees, so the line of longitude at zero degrees west or east is the prime 
meridian. And lines of longitude are also called meridians. So now that we've done our definitions, let's take a look at an actual drawing. We're going to start by drawing the prime meridian. It runs from the, I'm just going to label this PRI M prime meridian. It runs from the North Pole to the South Pole, but so does every other line of meridian. So even though these aren't labeled, it would start at the North Pole, it would come a little bit wide, and it would connect back in at the South Pole. Again, we're starting at the North Pole. We're moving even wider to the east. I'll label this east. And we can just keep adding them in. So you'll notice every single line of meridian connects from the North Pole to the South Pole. Even as we're moving west, they do the same thing. So these lines always start at the North Pole and always end at the South Pole. And we could label them the same way. The prime meridian is zero degrees west. And then as we move further east, maybe we have 20 degrees east, 40 degrees east, 60 degrees east. And these could curl all the way around the back of the globe to the other side, all the way up to 180 degrees east. So on the exact opposite side of the globe from the prime meridian, we have the 180 degree line for east or west. It's not called the prime meridian anymore. And as we were moving to the west direction, we would have 20 degrees west, 40 degrees west, 60 degrees west. Again, all the way until we're exactly behind the prime meridian up to 180 degrees Again, so 180 degrees east and 180 degrees west are the same line. So longitude runs north to south from the North Pole to the South Pole. It measures east and west of the prime meridian. The line at longitude at zero degrees west is the prime meridian, and these lines of longitude are also called meridians. And finally, let's take a look at actually plotting a coordinate or finding a coordinate on a map. And a coordinate is a line of latitude and a line of longitude. And you might see it written something like this, where we might have 35 degrees north, comma, 115 degrees west. So things to remember. Latitude is always marked first in a coordinate. So this first marking here is the line of latitude. And longitude is always marked second. So this second one is the line of longitude. And again, lines of latitude measure north and south of the equator. So if you see a north or a south here, you know that's a line of latitude. If you see an east or a west here, you know it is a line of longitude. Second thing to do. So that's the first step. One. Second. Find the point where the line of latitude and the line of longitude on your coordinate intersect. So here's our coordinate down here written below. Here's our coordinate. Well, let's find 35 degrees north. Here's 30. Here's our lines of latitude. Going up here, 30, 35. We follow that line all the way across. I'm just marking it so you can see it. So we follow that line all the way across because lines of latitude go all the way around the globe. Then we find our line of longitude, 115 degrees west. Well, here's 100, 110, 120. I know that 115 is halfway in between 110 and 120. So I'm going to draw a line north to south for my line of longitude, halfway between 110 degrees west and 120 degrees west. Third thing. Mark the intersection point of those two lines, and you now have your coordinate. So if I mark this point, get a new color here. If I mark that intersection where the line of longitude, line of longitude meets that line of latitude, I have my coordinate. 
So I'm going to draw another coordinate for you and see if you can just label this one on your own. So the coordinate will be 40 degrees north by 85 degrees west. See if you could plot that, pause it, take a second to see if you would be able to plot 40 degrees north, 85 degrees west, where it would be on this map. And I'm going to go ahead and reveal the answer. If you plotted your point right here where that white dot will make it red so it's easier to see, if you plotted it right here, then you are very good at plotting coordinates. The one thing to look out for, this is an easy mistake to make, don't do longitude first. Often people will look 35 north and they'll try and find 35 somewhere up on the longitude and then it throws everything off. Latitude first, longitude second, and then mark your intersection point. And you guys will get a lot of practice with plotting coordinates when you find out where different dog breeds were first bred. So always, if you have any questions, you can rewatch this. You can always uh, contact me and ask me questions personally. Uh, stay safe, guys. Thanks.